video we're going to look at independent and dependent random uncertainties. We're going to be looking at how we can classify random uncertainties as either dependent or independent. First of all, just a reminder that random uncertainties are uncertainties with a zero mean. It's important to classify these as either dependent or independent because once we've classified them, this will tell us how to deal with them. And there'll be later videos showing you how to deal with either dependent or independent random uncertainties. Dependent random uncertainties are uncertainties that arise from the same source. So a common reason this can happen is because the measurements have been made with the same or a very similar piece of equipment. So for example, if we used a tape measure to measure two different lengths, then the uncertainties in these lengths would be dependent as the measurement had been made with the same piece of equipment. Independent uncertainties arise when the uncertainties come from a different source. So this usually happens when we use a completely different piece of equipment to me make a measurement. So for example, if we were measuring the speed, and in order to measure the speed, we measured the distance with a tape measure and the time with a stopwatch, the uncertainties in the distance and the time would be independent as they come from completely different sources. Strictly speaking, not all uncertainties can be classified as either independent or dependent. Sometimes there's a degree of correlation between two measurements. So this can be given by a correlation coefficient, which tells you how dependent one measurement is on another. However, this is generally skipped in introductory physics courses. If you're in doubt about whether two measurements are independent or dependent, it's best to assume that they are dependent as this gives a larger uncertainty and it's always better to overestimate rather than underestimate uncertainties. 